Welcome to the channel, my name is Danny Walker. Today I'm gonna to be styling this beautiful suit set from Olive. This is the Linky Loose set and I'm wearing the size extra small and I'll put my measurements up here on the side of the screen so you can check that out. And if you wanna purchase this suit as well, you can use my sizing for some reference. Huge thanks to my Miss USA sister queen, Miss Pennsylvania USA, Olivia, for first of all, designing this suit, which is incredible and in launching her own brand. And second of all, for sending it to me so we could share all of these looks together. The very first way we're styling this is basically the right out of the bag look. This is simple. These are all three pieces that I'm wearing with this. Obviously, this is something that you could easily wear in a professional business setting to the office, but I'll tell you what's really great about this line is that it's made to already look tailored. It's so hard to find professional work pieces that fit you right out of the bag, and this is one of those pieces. I am so thrilled about the fit of this garment I just think that it's so well fit and I like that the waistband has a little elastic in the back so then it can fit multiple sizes without you having to take it in. So that's a really nice element. Also, the blazer does have real pockets that are a good size. For this, you could easily just pair it with your favorite pair of heels. I really like to bring out some of the thread colors in this, so I would wear a black or a red heel with this. Actually, let me show you. I'm gonna give you a little close-up shot. I love this. We have blacks, whites, browns, and of course, a little pop of red. This is a really, really classic print. So beautiful, so well done. The next style that I'm gonna show you is just to take on this outfit for cold weather. Once again, you can wear this to the office, you could wear this for a business meeting, you could wear it going out, but I ditched the blazer for this and instead I added on a warm wool coat. This actually belonged to my great grandmother, so it was cool to bring this piece in. I stayed with the heels as well. This is still, once again, really classic professional look, but it'll take you somewhere else. And this, this, like I said, is something a little more geared for cold weather. For this look, this is how I imagine taking this piece from work to going out with friends after work. I would run home, change the blouse into something more fun. And honestly, there's so many different blouses you could wear this with. I think you could even wear this during the springtime. Heck, throw on a crop top, throw on a tube top with it. I don't care whatever you put on with it, but you can really start to dress this look down a little bit more just by changing the top. And you could really pull from any of the colors in it, whether you wanna use the browns, the black, the red, or the white, whatever it is, throw on a fun blouse. This is a blouse that I actually wore in another recent episode. I used it for my how to style a slip dress. So if you wanna learn more about styling and get some more ideas, you should check out this one next. For this look, I feel really, really preppy, okay? Or I feel like I could go on a sail boat or something. For this, I am wearing the top as well as the pants, and then I'm removing the blazer, and instead I am adding a basic thin sweater. This can be draped over your shoulders, that could be one option, or you can pull this over you and you can pull out the collar. And I feel like I said, it just gives a nice little preppy look. And then I would swap out heels for some sort of flat, a loafer or a slide. The next look is definitely for colder weather if you wanna layer. And so I just love chunky, thick sweaters. I especially love a cable knit sweater, but I decided to throw this one over me and I made sure to cinch in the waist a little bit. I didn't want to wear this at its full length. You can wear this with boots for a warmer look. You can wear it with heels for the office. And honestly, you could even throw over that other long wool coat that I showed you earlier. That could be a nice look as well for really, really cold weather. I really, really love this look. This is so me and so basic and what I would wear all the time. So take the pants, throw on some sort of long sleeve top. Personally, I prefer this black turtleneck. It's very classic. I wear it way too much. And then I added on a scarf as an additional accessory. I personally feel like scarves are really underrated. If you ever want to mix patterns, a really good way to do this is by finding one common color between the patterns. So the scarf had red, white, and blue in it, and obviously the suit has some different tones, but I used that red tone to match these two, and then that's why I decided to pair it with this look. I'm just such a fan, such a fan of scarves. And then throw on your favorite bag with this that's gonna match your shoes and your top, and you're ready to go. 
I'll be honest, normally when I go to the airport, I wear the same thing over and over. It's basically leggings, a t-shirt, and a jean jacket or some variation of that. But this, I cannot wait to wear. I feel like such a professional in this. Wow, I feel like I have places to go and people to see. So I like to dress this look down by just throwing on a tank top, wearing both pieces of this set, so the blazer and the pants, then I like to use some basic white clean sneakers. Uh, and of course your matching bag and you can't forget your carry on. Right, we're ready to go. I don't know where we're taking off to, but we are going places in this look. If you follow me on social media, you will know that I am a fan of extra girly outfits. So I wanted a really, really feminine take on this. I decided to take this tulle skirt that I thrifted and pair it with the blazer. But what I did was remove the top underneath Grab a couple of safety pins, pin that blazer closed so you don't have any wardrobe malfunctions. I threw a belt on over this, some matching heels and a purse. I really, really love this take. I love a belted blazer and I love a fun skirt. I see skirts like this all the time at the thrift store. Grab yourself a midi length full skirt and you can wear it with so many things, especially if it's in a neutral like this. Comment fashion if you're loving these so far. Next, we're gonna take another basic that I have in my closet. So we're just gonna do this all black look underneath the blazer, basic tank top, whatever, or even a blouse, whatever you wanna put on underneath it. And then I paired it with this faux leather skirt. I've had this skirt forever. I'm obsessed with it. And then I throw the blazer over it, add some heels. And honestly, you are, you are ready to go. You're ready for work. I am a huge fan of mixing different textures and fabrics. So instead of pairing this blazer with jeans, which you could also very easily do, I decided to pair it with this faux leather pant. And I really, really like this just because we're mixing the different textures, but we're staying within the same color range. You could pair this with jeans. You could pair this with a shiny faux legging. There's so many ways that you can pair this with, but I like this because this to me is a really, really easy outfit to wear for going out with the girls after work. It's slightly professional. It's not too dressed up. You could wear boots with it like I am. You could pair heels. You could wear flats. There's a lot of different ways that you can change this look so that it could be worn different places, but this is one of the easiest ways for me on a day-to-day -day basis to wear something like this. Our last look today is a classic little black dress. So just for fun and thinking, okay, this could be a fall or a winter piece, I decided to wear a little black dress with some stockings underneath it and a classic black pump. Very, very simple, very easy. Pulled my hair back, threw on some stud earrings. Then I threw the blazer over this. Now I do love things that are quite fitted. So I decided to cinch in the waist because as you can see, the dress is more of a shift style dress. It's not completely fitted to me. So I wanted to bring in that waist. I added on the belt for this. Grab yourself your favorite handbag and head out the door. You can wear this to work. You can wear it out for dinner. There's so many different ways to style this. I hope that you got some great inspiration from this episode. And if you really liked it and you wanna see how to style other basics in your wardrobe so that the pieces that you have will go a long way and that you will always look stylish with way less wardrobe, then check out this next episode for how to style a slip dress.